to 3DS Max news for the month of November 2024 and has been another great month for 3DS Max. As you know, we got 3DS Max 2024 update 2 that I covered on a video that you can check on my channel. Here I will do a fast resume because we received a lot of updates. We got a new Conform modifier, it's not only 10,000 times faster than the old Conform Space Warp and faster than any other Conform solutions available, but has been as well turbocharged with more features, a preserve volume function, shrink wrap and other methods, and can be used to add detail to your models, to use it in retopology, or to be used in animation and much more. We had improvements in data channel modifier, allowing now max script operators, and we had new presets. Improvements in booleans modifier, it's now around 35 times faster, it's more accurate, and on the PDBs it allows for a hollow geometry now. But in modeling we had other improvements in splines, volume select, retopology, and skin modifiers. And a lot other modifiers received important speed increases, like push modifier, relax, x4, skinning, and animated splines, with up to 800% speed increases. Big improvements on animation with a new assigned controller menu, totally updated to Qt, allow now for resizing, new context menus with options to copy-paste controllers, and quality of life improvements. The viewport performance when this menu is open has, has been improved as well, and multiple fixes in Biped and CAD. Color management in Max is now modeless with important improvements in a lot of areas and a lot of fixes on materials. Check my YouTube videos covering this release because it's way longer and Cheng So a complete list of changes that he always created on his uh, website that uh, follows every single improvement and fix. Cheng So also made available a lot of the tests with conform modifier that he did or other beta users did to illustrate the power of this new tool. You can download it for free on his website. And on my Patreon, exclusively for my Patreons, I cover in three different videos some of these new tools in more detail. And it's November, and this means that Black Friday is here with a lot of discounts. I made available a list on my website with some important discounts available around 3ds Max. I would like to make a special mention to Cine Software, one of the oldest supporters of this channel. And they have 30% discount available with a wide variety of plugins to make your life easier in 3ds Max. They have Ignite, that is a collection of 9 plugins to help in your day-to-day -day with 3ds Max, with productivity tools, spline tools, sculpting tools, random transforms, HDRI wizards, Forensic, that is a 3D scene inspector when you deal with big scenes. They have as well Cyclone for advanced array options in 3ds Max, pretty cool stuff there. Disperse for 3D painting, Scatter, when you need millions of objects distributed in your scene. As you can see, they have a tool for any need, and a lot of these tools are free. You just need to register, and you will get some of these for free. And if you need anything else, you will see that they have a pretty good price, a lot of options for any need in 3ds Max. Figment presented a new collection of animated textures. This time, it's 135 trees animations to be used as projected shadow maps to increase the quality of your presentations in an easy way. And I found it pretty smart, because sometimes you can have a static image, you add a shadow map that is animated with a camera traveling, and you can get something very interesting. Five different tree types with different tree sizes, different tree viewing angles, three different seasons, 2K resolutions per map, and perfect loops. We have available one tree sample to test, to check if it's something that you can use. This pack costs 135 euros for a single license, and there's a special discount for Black Friday. Check the discount codes on my website. We have Corona Release Candidate 1 for Corona 11. 3ds Max version is now available with a new Corona tile map, more options for a scattering, a new scatter look at, a new edge map, tools focus on productivity, the introduction of Intel denoiser that now works via CPU or GPU and is not tied to Nvidia GPUs, and compatibility to the new color management options available in 3ds Max. Corona also released for free Corona Academy to all Corona subscribers. 
It's a bunch of quality training material, now available to everyone that has a license for Corona. And it's following the creation process from start to finish on different scenes. We already talked about the new open PBR on this channel that was a collaboration between Autodesk and Adobe under the guidance of Material X. Now it's available on GitHub, the version 0.2. This current version is labeled as pre-production, trying to get feedback and testing from all users and the definitive version will be launched during 2024, but if anyone is interested and want to test, it will be great to get feedback to... things still can change. We have a Storm, the granular simulation tool done by my friend Sebastian Schaeffer. It's in discount for Black Friday, starting at $49. I think it's an awesome deal for a fantastic tool to create all types of simulations. You can do a smoke, fire, and grains. Grains is where it excels. Being really fast, stable, and capable of great looking simulations has been used in production in different movies and series. And the tool integrates very well with 3ds Max, accepting and exporting Alembics and PRT file formats to create all types of sun simulations, snow, uh, plastic objects. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool tool. Check it out. For this price, I think it's very worth it. Norberto Aguilera shared for free a very cool animation done with Biped for everyone to download for free, experiment and enjoy it. And let's start with our section 3ds Max is only for RGB. She Swan Sao created this impressive project inspired by Dune and he used 3ds Max, Blender, Gaia and V-Ray. Really impressive and cool environment. Rebey Roles Leo work on Final Fantasy 16, working on Bahamut and Odit. They are two huge characters, uh, very big, and he used for this task 3D Max together with ZBrush and Substance 3D Painter. We have Damien Penois that created Winter Cabin, an environment of a lonely house in the middle of a winter landscape and it has been a way to experiment in new ways to create 3D environments. He used 3ds Max and Rail Clone, Substance 3D Painter, Gaea and Unreal Engine 5.3, using Lumen and a Knight to set up uh, GI and Reflections. I Shaq Surio used Typeflow to rig procedurally a centipede. You can see how everything is procedural and to get an idea in how to achieve something similar. Very cool use of Typeflow for a task that I would not think about it, but as you can see the results are very good. And Make, they keep doing these funny shorts called Brave Hearts. They launch episode 5 and 6 and they are totally made in 3ds Max, totally worth watching. They are accumulating more and more views in YouTube and yeah, they are as always amazing. Also make share on Facebook a breakdown for a character that they designed for a commercial called Mini. And as you can guess, modeling, rigging and animation was done in 3ds Max. On learning, we are still with Make Studio. They created a very well curated behind the scenes, talking about the technicalities of Braveheart Shores. On the first video, Aaron Dave Lowe, the technical director, will cover different techniques used on these shots to craft such an interesting wall. And you will see that they have like different behind the scenes covering different areas. Really cool videos, the shorts, and also this behind the scenes. I think that there is very interesting information here. And we have Jonas Noel that shared a very cool technique using V-Ray to blend or integrate better two different objects into each other, using a blend shader and procedural mask to create a seamless transition between both objects to increase realism. A very cool technique when you need to make things less CG and really well explained. Chaos Group shared two complete tutorials. In one they are creating realistic snow using V-Ray, and in the other, they are creating realistic good materials. And finally, during this month, we had Autodesk University. 
It's physical in Los Angeles, but also online for anybody that wanted to attend uh, the talks and they cannot uh, go to Los Angeles. I hope that everyone had a lot of fun there. We had a lot of interesting talks with different subjects covering 3ds Max, Maya, the future of these uh, tools and different talks from important people from the industry. So that has been it for the month of November, guys. I hope that you like it. As always, please remember to give a comment, give a like, share it with your friends, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and thanks a lot to all my Patreons that allows me to keep doing these videos. Thank you guys and see you soon. Bye.